Hello there. After checking out Mix Jack Studio the last time and a few things have been kept in my mind, a few questions and I wanna test them right now in this video. If you don't know that software I guess, it's an AI software. Where is it? The utilizes coating edge AI technology to analyze your mixes and masters that's the thing i checked it last time out with popular songs like ed sheeran icy fire muse and madness and i have a few screenshots i can show you real quick right here where are my screenshots there let's get that thing tall there for example ed sheeran's icy fire the first question is why is everything clipping here we have the song clipping muse and madness was clipping and the well there were more songs tested but kanye west's runaway was oh, clipping and what a lot of people suggested on reddit is that because of the downloading progress from youtube that after a download that stuff just clips so i've downloaded one of my own songs which have not been shown to clip and I'm gonna throw that in there as I downloaded one of my own songs and the later thing we're gonna test if there is actually a big difference between the mix analyzing progress and the mastering analyzing progress with the same song my own song Patrick Steele Fearless oh, let's just give unknown it's gonna give me electric anyways and then the diagnostics is gonna run so last time I did not have this song clipping so now we have downloaded it from YouTube as a normal legal mp3 download and let's see if that bad boy is clipping it takes a while it takes a while it's this song well this version will give you better audio and funny enough I'm having something similar like that in the background right now uh, anyways are we done here you slow bastard that's the download i used very safe i guarantee it oh come on hurry up hurry up the song is not in the background i can give you that in the background oh i could just cut the video here let's cut the video here and edit it get that okay yep yep definitely it is clipping so apparently that's the problem with downloading songs then there's some minor clipping oh, i don't want to give a big analyze of that but i feel like right here this song my own song looks better balanced here than when i threw it in and i can also check that where is my playlist of me that's my recording where's my recording i never find it when i want it damn it there making sure that this is mute otherwise i would hear myself doubled and that's a no-go um nope we're not there yet one of the later songs that might be it fearless yes so here we have the difference let's get the tool stereo feel wide no clipping song fearless and here we have stereo feel balanced and minor clipping oh, oh no um not sure this will help me in the long term at all just confuses me and now to confuse us even more let's check out the mix function of this thing i have damn it i went out of the folder again oh there it is feel as it one of those two takes hmm. that's not a big question which one is the right one let's just take this one there mix it's this time it's a mix so it should give me something different we'll say in the in a few seconds in a few seconds we will say 
this did definitely take forever to load but here we have the mixing difference which so far no there's no i shouldn't say of course there's no clipping here ah <sighs> Stereo field just gives me completely different results three times in a row. Maybe I just did that much during mastering that it's just the difference. It's a big difference. Okay, I mean, it's it's not that much different here, anyways. Let's just go back to nope. There, there there which was the last part we have this here damn it that's super confusing me checking myself out right now yep that's super confusing oh no now i'm now i'm out of it oh in my full screen <laughs> oh god that was super confusing there that's that's the other results i had Oh, the sample rate went down apparently too. Damn it, now I'm super confused. Get that stuff away. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't do that again. Okay, I have another song that I'm gonna check as a mix and a master in a way that it's not confusing. <laughs> it's this one. It's this one. A uh, new one, theoretical height with this nice drawing here that I made myself. Ah, oh, those are wisdom teeth, yes. So this song will be checked out right now. As a mix first and then as a master. <laughs> okay, now I'm super confused. First of all, we have here the mastered version. You can see it very well here because it's that full. And here we have the mixed version. Oh, and I feel like, I feel like this just confuses me yeah now i'm clipping now i'm clipping now i'm extra confused why am i clipping against hey my balance dare you feel this killer apparently oh no mono capability because i'm so balanced here and this graphic also seems to be pretty good mm. I mean, I should be happy with that, right? That looks pretty good. Even though I'm never quite happy with my... <laughs> uh, food is here. <sighs> my first burger is here since my wisdom tooth operation. Let me show you the thumbnail again. There, my wisdom tooth operation. Those two bastards. And one of them on the other side. Now I'm gonna test myself. If I can eat potato dippers and a burger. After living off school and baby food, hip baby food. Okay, back to the mixes and masters. This one is clipping. I did not download it from YouTube. This is kind of weird and confusing. Maybe beforehand I just checked WAF files. I don't know, but... uh. I don't see too much of a difference between the obvious things, loudness, and I often do well sample, not sample, damn it, while well, mastering I add elements that are often put into a stereo field, like Sanzulas, Kalimbas and singing bows, stereo field narrow after the master stereo field balance. I balance things out stem mastering that's that's the thing stem mastering is what I do otherwise not much has changed here of course it does not clip it's a mix yeah yeah mix track studio I feel like so far it's not the tool that I will use it's more confusing and it doesn't tell me much important stuff between the tone and profile which I often can look up in an EQ or there are plugins for that the software I definitely can tell you to use more so is loudness penalty analyzer I haven't thrown that song in there yet that's vortex oops my next modding project I've just found that 
just gonna throw it in there <laughs> as a dead space fan don't let yourself get distracted patrick oh lotness plant here and Eliza. that's something that i can recommend that uh, is also the worst worst the word i've been looking for just shut up and eat your burger you idiot <laughs> it's quick and it gives you the numbers easier and i'm pretty sure damn it i didn't check if i had that on my previous file this is the mix this is not the same the master file but it's metal and i feel like it sits good in this range okay we're pretty much done here this is not this song it's not in the background moira's fridge music is in the background where is it atomic heart moira's fridge music yeah yeah i'm done messing with mix check studio i've got things answered for myself there on the right hand side you may be capable of seeing the old video maybe i'll test some more popular songs and compare them that's something that sounds interesting to me and stomping red roaches that does sound interesting to me okay yeah something in person which i hate talking to people in person just stomp your problems away yeah yeah if you're interesting you're interested in fallout mods this one will be next i'm already getting hungry so peace out oh damn that's good